Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for the super thanks. Today I'd like to do some energy on Chad Daybell. How is he doing being locked up? How does he feel about his prospects of freedom? Does he actually think he's going to be free? How guilty does he feel? Let's find out. And now on this channel... I like to shuffle on camera. No funny business here. Let's find out. Chad Daybell. How are you doing, Chad? How are you doing? The guy with the God complex. He thinks he's God. That's like the ultimate narcissist, you guy. He, he just thinks he is God. He thinks he is deaf. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. That's how he's doing. Yeah. Very low vibe. Uh-huh. Absolutely. The dark side of himself is just on fire. Yeah, I would say that um, he wants to get back control. This is the domination and bondage card. He definitely is living in his shadow self. He would like to get some hedonism. He really would like a good time because this is my sex, drugs, and rock and roll card. He's caged in right now, but not with abundance. He wants some abundance. He's thinking about how he used to have entanglements and get anything he wanted. He was really out for it all. He really was. So, yeah, living in fear. I would say he's kind of living in fear with this dark side. Uh, it's a very unhealthy bond that he had with Lori. And he was, to it was total enmeshment. There's no love with this card. It's just enmeshment. Uh, he might be, it's an oppressive situation. And there is some havoc and some shame. And a lot of negative senses are triggered right now. He's thinking about physical pleasures and wishing he can get back to it. He wants to get back to what he had, which was control the masses of his little group. Bottom of the deck, oof. He has no spiritual side. No, he does not. He knows what he did was he turned some people over to spirit uh, with his help. Uh, this is read that way too. Sometimes when I get a person who's going to die, sometimes it is this position with this card. Uh, so basically, he does not have any spiritual insights. No, he doesn't. He's faking it, you guys. He's the devil. He's a devil. He's not spiritual. He's a control freak. He's a complete, utter control freak. He's like the devil incarnate is what he is, pretending to be a guidance spiritual teacher. No, he's not. This is like the darkest of dark right here. This guy is like a total malignant here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to calculate those two. That's valued at a five, and that is 15. That comes to 20, 20. When I calculate it, comes to five of spades, roadblocked. He's dealing with a lot of hostilities and he has to swallow his pride. That's also, that is also my card of uh, not having other people's, it's a crime card. It is a crime card. It is the nemesis. He committed a crime. He was part of it. Uh, he doesn't want to surrender. He has been caught up. He doesn't think he should have to resolve things and do things differently. Um, yeah, this is someone who constantly has conflicts and res resentments, uh, he defeated. It's kind of a defeated position. Calculating this would be, in my terms, would be defeated because he was busted. Uh, he's going to repeat the issues because the Five of Swords, someone, this type of energy with Five of Swords, uh, the person does not have your back. So he's probably more than likely going to backpedal and blame Lori for everything and that she didn't have his back. Uh, but he's very well part of that Five of Swords. Uh, and, you know, it's a no-win situation. He knows it's a no-win situation. And he's just going to blame it on her probably, more than likely. That's just how I feel. Let's get to the challenging position for... My God. <clears throat> Here we go. Chad Daybell. He is feeling burdened. He's wishing that he never did propose love to her. And he never was fully invested in her in the relationship. It created nothing but baggage and burdensome. 
uh, a heavy load. He's got this heavy load. He's regretful. He's challenging. He's he's challenged. His challenge is challenging his own mind. Uh, he knows he went low. He knows he felt burdened and he shouldn't have done it. And he knows he created a huge problem that he has to carry the rest of his life. He'll never be able to get rid of it. He may never get what he used to have. Uh, the King of Pentacles is respected in, 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 the, in the world, has a lot of uh, financial means, is generous, can help other people, uh, is willing to help other people, gives good advice, is a good, good figure, you know, someone who's respected. He's lost all respect. He doesn't have respect. He'll never have it all because he's more than likely going to get locked up. He made himself into this Ten of Wands burden, drudgery, struggles, major challenges, he wants to keep going, though, uh, because he thinks maybe I'll get stronger by carrying that baggage. Because through carrying baggage, you, you gain strength. But then he realizes also he should not have chased after Lori to get that entanglement, that, that low vibe conscious bonding that he acquired and married her. He married her. This is the marriage card. He regrets marrying her now. So he all, not only does he realize I shouldn't have gone after her with my love. That's that knight in shining armor coming after you and, and proposing love. He wishes he hadn't done it. What a problem he created for himself. Now he's stuck. He's trapped with his dark side and he should have never married her. And he never was a spiritual leader. He knows he wasn't. It's um, it's all a fabrication, a lie. So a lot, I'd say regret, 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 regret. He, he shouldn't have married her. So this is like a, a spread of regret. <laughs> Let's get to the focal point. For Chad Daybell. Chad Daybell. Ooh. Focal point was, yeah, getting that intermingled energy, the two of cups, testing a relationship, uh, the connections, creative collaboration. Yeah, they collaborated all right. And they got creative all right. And they intermingled and did it. Uh, they did it. They did it. They intermingled and they enjoyed it. They wanted just the two of them. And that's why they did it. Because he married her. Shouldn't have done it. What was I thinking? Why did I, why was I give? why was I offering myself up to this woman? So let's get to the hidden energy or the root. What's subconscious from Chad Daybell? What is subconscious that even he may not recognize for himself why he behaves the way he behaves? Under the surface, Chad Daybell, what are you thinking, buddy? Oh, you got busted. Aw, poor guy. You got busted. All pretenses are dropped. Sorry. We know that you're a snake in the grass. You lied. Low vibe stuff. Lots of low vibe. With this here, they're harboring secrets. Dishonor, scheming, lies, deceit. Total dishonesty comes. This is total dishonesty. Breaking trust. He broke the trust of the kids that actually liked him. He probably was acting like a great dad to him. Oh, he broke trust all right. Now he got busted. He got busted. This is all the consequences. The mask is dropped. Uh, you know, everything, it's coming clean. He has got to come clean. He knows he needs to come clean. He probably doesn't want to because this is subconscious. He knows he's got to come clean. He knows what he did was complete planning of lies and trying to keep the secret of being guilty. And the dogs agree. Probably dad is home, so just ignore that. Past position that doesn't serve is that path he took. He took the fool's path and boy, was that a dumb, dumb, poor judgment, stupidity, poor direction, should not have gone there, shouldn't have married her, wish I never met her, I wish I didn't go down that road. Oh, did I screw up and now I'm drowning. Let's go into the future. The future. They were involved in the moon energy. And what was the moon energy? We're going to have it all. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. We're going to get it all. Just you and me. We're going to have it all. We don't need those kids. Let's go get sex, drugs, and rock and roll and travel and do what we want and free ourselves. It's just you and me, and I got you on my string, and I got you in my fantasy that I am God, that I am the uh, the woke leader, and, and I'm the one calling the shots on who's dark and who's carrying dark, evil spirits, and she, they, she, people bought into it. This is the mental illness card of fantasy, illusion, smoke and mirrors. Hiding lot, it's lies, it's me creating mental confusion, it's concealing his own trauma, basically. So basically, he's a very dark individual who's concealing his own mental illness and lunacy. 
The moon card is complete, utter lunacy. Lunacy, okay? They are lunatics. And he was hiding it behind that he's some kind of spiritual guru god. Let's get to the uh, feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation for Chad Daybell. Chad Daybell, what is up with you? Oh, death. I don't think he's thinking of transformation. I think he just wants out. I think, yeah, he was involved in the death. The death, usually when you see the death card, it does not actually mean death. It means transforming yourself, ending things, relinquish your past. He'd like to relinquish his past and say goodbye to it and transform into a new beginning with increased self-awareness. But I think in this, in this situation, he knows he killed the kids. He was part of, or he was part of it. And he doesn't want to face it. Uh, transformation is probably not likely going to happen uh, because he knows he's guilty. He's probably expecting it. And he's probably worried he's going to get the death penalty. He's afraid of the death penalty on himself. And he's probably thinking definitely Lori's going to get it because of what they did. Let's get to the... Outside influences for Chad Daybell. The outside influences for Chad Daybell. Here we go. Well, yeah, you did. You backstabbed those two poor children, your ex, your wife, and God knows how many other dead bodies. Yes, yeah, so he's a backstabber. That just doesn't get any worse. Uh, you know, this is total ruin. Total ruin. He creates ruin because he thinks he's God. He thinks he's that dark devil God, that fallen angel there. He thinks he's, he knows he's, he's like, I must be the fallen angel version of God, not the, not the high, the high vibe God pulling people on strings and taking them out. Totally betrayal, total mental illness and lunacy. The mask is off. He was wearing a social mask at one point in time. He was wearing a social mask. That's wearing a social mask and lying and hoping people don't notice. Well, guess what? Everybody knows what you are now, Chad. What did he do? He created nothing but triangulation, emotional pain, and suffering. Yes, more triangulation. He did it because he didn't want the kids. It was sort of, it was sort of a triangulation. He did it because he wanted to avoid the triangulation, get rid of some people. But he did bring some people in to help on one end. Uh, that's a scourge card. That's like another devil. That's like another snaky vengeance, chronic illness, uh, creating a lot of loneliness, grief. This guy, he's going to work against you. Bottom line, he is going to always work against you. He knows he's a heartbreaker. He knows he's going to break people. Everywhere he goes, he's going to create pain and suffering. Final outcome for Chad Daybell. Final outcome for Chad Daybell. Final outcome for Chad Daybell. And this is my favorite deck, by the way. Oh, he doesn't want to repeat psychological patterns of failure anymore. No, he does not. That is the one that I got in the calculation in the beginning was this five of swords. That's that swallow your pride. Uh, you know what? I've been busted. Uh, I, they've uncovered the crime. I'm busted, 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 busted. He's just going to have to resolve to the fact that his life's going to always be different. Uh, it's the crime card. This is someone who always creates resentment. It's because he's got it in his head. He creates resentment outside of himself because he feels it inside of himself. Because he's so dark. Because he's so mentally unwell. Because he wears a social mask usually and he got busted. Because he's a heartbreaker. He hurts people. He probably gets pleasure from it. Backstabbing. Creates death where he goes. He's like a death trail here. You know, he, uh, he really was an emotional sedu seduction. It was seduction, seduction. Devil does seduction to get what he wants. What is the devil going to do? The devil's going to create nothing but a burden in your life. That's what they do. That's what they're good at. And he truly doesn't have the goods. The man's a loser. He never did have it. He likes to fake it. He's a faker that he has it all. No, he does not have it all. Total loser who basically is like a devil, a walking devil on the planet. And he does regret marrying her. He has absolutely no spiritual connection. It's in reverse. He can't guide anybody because he can't even guide himself. He's so dark. This is like a malignant psychopath narcissist spread here. This guy's so dark. He has no business being a parent, guiding other people. He can't even guide his own mind uh, because he's so caught up in mental illness, lunacy, depression, hiding it as best he can. He hid it underneath the guise of being a spiritual guru total deceptions totally 
hid, it's, he's like a hidden enemy. He's like a hidden enemy concealing his own trauma by pretending to be this, this God savior, uh, conspiracy theorist, really complete mental head case, really. Then we have here in the center of the deck, his heart chakra is blocked. He doesn't feel anything for anybody. He knows he has to do things differently now, and now he's dealing with the consequences of his behavior. What he did was stupid, 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 stupid. Here, you have a very difficult decision to make. He did it, and it wasn't too sharp. This is dealing with the consequences because he doesn't love anyone. He doesn't feel anything for anybody. There is no love there. That heart, that heart shock, that heart's completely blocked to the outside world. And he set himself up for failure. The magician, he was part of it. He helped manifest it. He was part of the willpower and the pure power behind it. He really thinks he's God. This guy really thinks, he really thinks that he is a devil that can make anything he wants happen. I can manifest whatever I want. No, you couldn't. He set himself up for failure because he doesn't truly have the, 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 the ability to create positive change. It's really greed. It's manipulation, just like a seduction that I had on here. Trickery, the devil's about trickery. It's about illusions. Another illusion card, the moon card is all about illusions. It's smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. Everything was smoke and mirrors so that he can kill people and take people out and create nothing but pain, create nothing but pain. What a loser, total 10 of swords, total backstabber. This guy is like probably a sadist who really gets off on the control of others. He is a very dark person, my God. In fact, he's even darker. He's darker. I see darker energy with Chad Daybell than I did with her. Unfortunately for her, she was the one, I think she got caught up with him and he made her mirror him and they became dark together. Uh, he's the darker of the two, unfortunately, from what I'm seeing here, because I've done her before. I'd say his is far darker. All right, you guys, hope you enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.